Welcome, welcome, welcome. I completely forgot to record an intro to this video. So welcome to episode 23. And if you missed it, in the last episode, we got chanced for the first time. So if you have not seen that video, you're definitely going to want to go back there and check it out. As well as we began to get favor in the Corinth houses. And that's where we begin this episode. We set out for the goal of achieving 100% in all five of the houses. But I think that's all you need to know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now we only have two more houses of favor. I still have not looked up the Lovakins yet. I need to get on that. But for the Shazian favor, we're going to be doing the gang mini game. I don't I don't actually know what it is called. Gang something. Is it tell me in here? Uh organized crime. We're gonna be doing organized crime things. I just know they have a mob or a gang boss or something. That's what we're gonna be doing. Crime intelligence thing. There it is. There is the first one finished. They weren't lying when they said the loot was pretty good because we just got 53 Cosmics. I'm actually going to drop this Lance Dime. I'm not going to need that for a long time. 8 Mahogany Planks, 33 Oak Planks, 4 Pieces of Intelligence, which I believe give us a little bit of extra XP. I'm going to go ahead and try to find an altar somewhere and see if I can get another one in that same location. I'm going to guess not, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. But there's the first one done. We're already up to 62% favor. And those 33 oak planks are very nice. I might actually do this just to get some oak planks here in the future, even after I finish Shazy in favor. I don't know if it's worth it, but they are free compared to trying to pay and get them the other way at the sawmill. So I don't know. I feel like it might be worth it. We'll see. By the time we get 100% favor, we will see what other planks we we're able to get, or if I was just super lucky that time. Let's go ahead and keep hopping and see if we can find another gang we weren't able to find another group of organized crime or gang so let's go ahead and talk to captain guinea here and turn this in we get four books four training manuals actually that was a medium task in Corinth. i had no idea but let's go ahead and click the information real quick as well to see if there's any going on right now in the blast mining quarry this meeting is expecting in progress now that's the one i had i guess it's still in progress but let's go ahead and use we can use it on HP, defense, attack, or strength. I feel like the most beneficial is just going to pour it all on HP. I don't know. I feel like HP is naturally the slowest, but you also get it through doing everything. We'll just put all the first four books on it. I don't think any of them are going to make that much of a difference. I might do something different with the next books, but let's go ahead and click it and see if it's the same thing. Yep, in the near the quarry, it's the exact same one. I guess we can get after it and just try to go and see if we can find any more. Oh, we were actually able to just find another one right immediately after I teleported. It's going to be pushing it though because I did not bring any more food and these things absolutely put the hurt on me. Wait, actually, this is a completely different gang boss. The other one was a ranger. This person being a meleeer, I actually think I'm going to protect from everything here so I should be fine. The last gang I ran into, the boss was a ranger, and he was putting the hurt on me, hitting me constant 12s. But no, this dude does have melee, and I am absolutely working him. That wasn't too difficult at all. We're already at 72%. This is actually so fast. Not a very good drop from the boss at that time, but hopefully these little guys drop us some more oak planks. Ooh, that is a nice drop. We actually, I was thinking this was actually not going to be a very good method of... These things drop some really interesting drops, but I actually was going to say this is not a very good way of getting oak planks, and then I finally got one drop of 16 and a hard clue in the same kill. We read this, Motherload Mine. I actually can do the first step of that hard clue, so that's super good. And let's go ahead and check our favor. After two, we are at 88%, and that is actually high enough to completely stop doing this already. Because attempting to get tier 5 Shazian armor actually gives you, I believe, up to 16%. I'm not going to lie, I actually found doing that really enjoyable. A solid 50 oak planks we got, a few KXP, the hard glue is definitely a rare bonus. Overall, really solid loot though, I will definitely take that. It can be a little frustrating though trying to hop worlds and run to the locations and actually get one. Because I know my first location I attempted to do, I hopped a bunch of worlds... I finally hopped one that had members. I went to attack one and they just completely disappeared. That was pretty frustrating, but let's go ahead and head back and turn in the remaining little bonus XP we have and probably start up the combat ring to finish off 
our fourth Karen favor and leave us with only one house left. As you can tell by our inventory, I actually decided to go ahead and start the combat ring. But before doing so, I actually checked to see where the next gang was going to be. And it turned out to be in Shazian, literally 50 feet above the combat ring. So I decided to start it and then just wait the 10 minutes until the gang appeared. And I figured I'd just go ahead and try my chance again to see if I could get any more planks or anything else good. But in that time, I actually completely did not realize it. But after killing the gang boss, I hit 100% Shazian favor. So that is now complete. I'm still going to complete the combat ring because I do want tier 5 full Shazian for the future when doing shamans and things like that. But now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and complete this combat ring in order to get my tier 5. Hopefully we do have high enough stats to complete it. And then after that, we'll go ahead and see how we're going to complete Lobakinch. There we go. With that kill, we now have full Shazian armor tier 5. Let's go ahead and chuck it on. Honestly, I'm a big fan of how Shazian armor looks. I think it's honestly pretty sick. Yeah, I'm definitely very sick. And that's going to come into great use whenever we do kill Lizardman Shaman down the road. Okay, we did the research on how we're going to complete our Lovakin favor. And this right here is the process that I had heard about taking a long time. And that is once I put all of those juniper logs into this furnace, it will take 16 hours game time in order for all of those juniper logs to be turned into charcoal, which we will then be able to turn into dynamite along with a few other things. But in that meantime, I'm going to need to get 20% favor by mining the sulfur. And then after we get the 20%, we'll complete the Forsaken Tower quest in order to jump us to 30. And then from 30% to 75, we will need to make dynamite. So we will need to make 450 dynamite along with the final 25% of Lovakin, which is actually incredibly easy. It just takes a lot of running around Karind. And that is because you link up like all of these minecart systems around here. I actually have no idea where any of them are. I don't even have Lovakin's favor on my main, so I literally have never done it before, so I don't know where these minecart systems are. Oh, there's one of them right here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. You link all of those up, each of which give you 5% favor, so that'll just be some running time, but it'll be incredibly easy to finish. Really, the long wait's going to be waiting for this charcoal to get done, but thankfully I got it started now, and I have plenty of other things I can get done in the meantime. Yes. 20% Lovakin finally done. Oh my god, that was so bad. There we go. There is Forsaken Tower Quest completed. We receive 6k GP, a favor certificate, and another memoir page. Let's go ahead and hit this favor certificate. That's the most important thing from the quest. We can also add another page into our book, granting us more teleports and another house on the list we can teleport to in Karend. And I actually just realized now the only thing keeping us from doing architectural alliance besides getting the rest of the favor in the Lovakinj house is I guess I completely forgot and I never did the Arceus house quest. So that's one thing we'll also have to knock out. With 30% favor in Lovakinj we now have the ability to make dynamite all the way up to 75 this is once again going to be a tedious process, but we will be able to knock it out. It should be way better than mining that freaking sulfur stuff. Here is the final inventory of dynamite being made. We are now going to be up to 75%. That was still quite a bit of time, but not nearly as dreadful as mining the sulfur. So I will 100% take that. I had way too much juniper charcoal, but it was incredibly easy to get. And who knows, maybe we'll need more dynamite in the future if we decide to do that mining method. But now with that done, we literally just have to do the minecart system and we will have 100% in every single Corinth house. You guys think I should start a Reddit bank organization thread? God, dude, just look how organized that is. It looks so clean. It's unreal. I accidentally muted my mic over these next couple clips, so we will have to do some post-editing commentary. But in this first clip, as you can see, I turn in the final minecart scroll in order to get us 100% favor in the Lovakinj house, which then enables us to be able to complete the architectural alliance 
as I am showing right now. And here we jump straight into the final cutscene of the Architectural Alliance of the statue being built. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this quest because I don't have it completed on my main. Yeah, I understand. Absolute scrub. But it's actually a pretty sick statue that I've never seen before. I still have just a pillar on my main and all of the Karin Slayer I've done. And even before starting Karin Slayer on this account, I already have the quest done. So that's definitely a massive accomplishment. And we end up getting an antique lamp that's actually worth 10k XP that I didn't know before and I should have checked. One of the massive accomplishments of doing this quest is the fact that you unlike, unlock the Xerix Honor Teleport, which teleports you directly to this statue, which is so incredibly useful for Slayer, and it's going to be so beneficial in the future on saving me so much time. And here I am using this antique lamp. I attempt to use it on Herb Lord, but we only had 33. I ended up using it on Praetor, as you will see here in a second, but honestly, I kind of wish I would have leveled my Herb Lord. Or at least saw if I could get the 40 in my bank because 10k XP. Because I wish I would have been able to use that free 10k XP into the much harder skill to train. I was able to complete another hard clue. Oh wow, it actually turns out that was a medium task to travel to this island. We're going to open it on our own personal island right here. But with that, we're also going to end the episode. So if you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to be notified when another upload goes live... Hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you all for all of the support on the previous episodes. The likes each episode have been killing it, so thank you so much for that. Now let's go ahead and open our second hard clue. Once again, there is so many good things we can get from this. The one I'm really wanting is an MSB, and they're decently likely. So hopefully we do roll that this time. But here we go. Moment of truth. 3, 2, 1. Open up, and we get... A black dehyde body, some Iowerth camp teleports, 40 gnats, rune long, 9 purple sweets. Nothing incredibly special. The black dehyde body is definitely the most useful thing out of this, but none of that is bad at all. A free alk with the rune long, I will 100% take that. Only 88k, but it is all very useful for our account, really. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. There is our second hard clue. Not nearly as lucky as the first, but not that I really expected it either. In today's episode, we completely finished everything on Corind in terms of diaries and quests. And in the next episode, we'll probably do a little bit of Slayer as well as really start knocking out some RFD requirements. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I see you guys in the next. Peace.